Can you say and spell your name? Melanie Weldon, M-E-L-A-N-I-E-W-E-L-D-O-N. Okay. And um, what's your major and what year are you in? Visual effects, and I'm a sophomore. Okay. And from Chattanooga, Tennessee? Yes. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to get down to it. Um, tell me a little bit about your dyslexia, your case, and how it affects you. Um, well, it affects me mostly in, like, reading words that I don't really know and spelling uh like handwriting stuff uh words that like I know that I know how to spell I'll look at it and be like no that's not how you spell it so I'll just change the word but yeah it's mostly in like reading out loud and writing Mm -hmm. um and how did your how did you get diagnosed what was your story there um well in first grade or kindergarten my teacher we were having like a spelling test and I remember we were spelling the word bed, and uh, I spelled it wrong every time on the test. And she was like, just look at the word, like, it looks like a bed. It creates a bed. And so um, <clears throat> that's how I really started to kind of, like, cope with it um, without really knowing what was going on. But um, I got diagnosed officially uh, sophomore year of high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was just kind of going through high school and middle school, just kind of thinking that I was normal, but I was just having trouble. Um, but yeah, I got officially diagnosed in high school. Um, well, my my mom felt like she knew, just because she was like the one helping me study for like spelling tests and stuff when I was little. But um, I think everyone was pretty much shocked because I wasn't getting like horrible grades, like you hear most people. But I mean. <clears throat> I I made these coping skills without even knowing it. So, I mean, it wasn't like a big change when I found out, but it definitely helped a lot um, socially because I just kind of felt like I was stupid and it like I got into like depression and it was really horrible in middle school. I think it's affected my life like socially the worst Because, like, when I was in middle school, I would have, like, my teachers not really, like, know what's going on. They didn't know I was dyslexic, and so they would just think I was slacking off. And on every single one of my report cards, it said, if Melanie would just work a little bit harder, she would just try a little more. And I was so frustrated because I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm putting in all of this work. I'm getting, like, headaches from working all of this time. And they're like, work harder? And, um... So I became like really introverted. Um, I don't really like talk that loud and my handwriting is really scribbled, uh, like jumbled up so people can't really like read when I'm writing. Um, And I think it's like caused just because I'm like sensitive with like, I don't want people to think that I'm stupid so I don't speak up that much. I would know that we would have to read out loud in class and I would know the chapters. So I'd go home and memorize the pages pretty much to the best that I could do. So I could, I basically knew the gist of every single line, so I could just kind of, like, guess what the words were, I guess. But, like, again, I was doing this without really, like, being like, okay, I gotta memorize it, I gotta do all this. I was just, like, reading it and reading it and reading it. It was natural. Yeah, yeah, until I just understood it. And so I could just talk about it more than reading it and kind of, like, distract people, I guess, from the fact that I wasn't really reading and just kind of talk about it. I mean, it just makes it slower for, like simple things like addition like I'm in a math class right now and just like five plus six is just like I have to add it on my fingers or like take a second and I kind of like that that kind of it bugs me a lot just because like if I'm talking to someone and you have to do really quick addition for something um got like okay so last night I got a pizza uh for my friend and I gave the lady a tip and I gave her a five dollar tip and I couldn't do the addition really quick, so I just scribbled in like some illegible number for the total. And but I made sure that she knew that she got a five dollar tip, but like I just couldn't do it, and it's really really frustrating. Do you have anything specifically um, that art help? Does art help you? Sorry, with um, your dyslexia, is it comfortable um, in your field? Um, does how does SCAD help you cope with it? Um, well, art just in general. Um, it's helped me a lot. Like I said, my kindergarten teacher said, picture the word bed as a bed. So now, 
first I look at the word as a shape. Like, like if you take like a bubble letter outline, I look at that first and then the letters um, to know like what the word word means. Cool. And um, I mean, with my major, like copying numbers from each layer to layer, that kind of takes a couple seconds just to like get the numbers right. If I have to like copy it. Um, but I don't really like use like the SCAD stuff that much. Just because I never really used like the extra help in high school or middle school. So I just got used to not really doing anything or asking for like help. So do you feel like you're a self-sufficient person? Yeah. I mean, like I, it would probably be like good to get some help with it, but just kind of like I've gotten by without it. So I think like the biggest thing for people who are dyslexic um, is to know that it's okay to take some time and uh like really figure out what you want to say before you say it so you can have your complete thought um, not be like tainted by other people's view that you're like s stupid, you know?